Always held on the first Saturday in October, the St. George Marathon is in its 47th year. A Boston Marathon qualifier, the event just keeps growing like no other. It's the largest municipal marathon and the longest running municipal marathon in the nation. With athletes in all 50 states and 15 countries, the St. George Marathon is updating its finish line this year. Event coordinators for the city got a sneak peek at the newly created St. George Marathon Arch, which will stretch out above runners as they cross the finish line underneath. So we finally decided it was time to get a new finish line arch for people to come across and we're very excited to be here and to have this almost completed. Constructed by Design to Print, the 40-foot long arch is built in 10-foot sections and easily holds the finish line banner and sponsorship signs. Just this right here is just made out of cloth. These can be replaced each year, so if our sponsors change, we can replace those. But a big shout out goes to Ben Newman. He's the one that's kind of taken control of this on the park side, on the city side, to help us put this together and get design going. While it's too late to register for the marathons this year, people can still participate in the Mayor's Walk, Kids Race, and new this year, the 5K. We do a kids and an I Am Able race for anyone to participate in. This year we're offering a 5K, which is brand new, and that'll be on Friday during our expo, the kids race and the 5K. Um, that'll be a real fun party in the park. We have over 8,300 athletes coming this year, which is just record numbers. And that doesn't account for the um, smaller races, which we do. It takes a lot of volunteers to pull this ever-growing event off, and the city is still welcoming volunteers to help along the route. So we just like to remind the community and thank them, mostly thank them for the support that they give the St. George Marathon. I mean, this has been um, the key to tourism from the start of the growth of St. George, and the city and the community really rallies behind it. I mean, we have people um, going on third generation that have volunteered. So they've volunteered 30 plus years and it's, you know, family members. Now my grandkids are running the aid stations that we used to run, you know, and things like that. Besides bringing in tourism, the St. George Marathon also feeds the local economy. We know it's at least $15 million, but that study hasn't been updated in almost 10 years. So it could be it could be double that now. So we have um, hired the college who can do a Qualtrics study for us at a really reduced rate because they get the students involved in things. And um, so we're gonna be um, charting that this year. And so there we'll look for an article afterwards. We're really gonna know on the dime pretty much what that economic impact looks like and have an up-to-date survey. The hashtag like no other is the key to following the race events this year. It starts as a party and you feel that all the way through the support of the spectators cheering along the course and then the feeling at the finish line which is another big party and celebration really makes it like no other. For more information on race events or to volunteer or participate, go to stgeorgemarathon.com. In St. George, Melissa Anderson Community Education News.